I'd like to call the June 22nd, 2018 school committee meeting to order. So, so yep. move, move to enter into executive session to discuss strategy with respect to non-represented personnel, specifically the superintendent's contract and compensation, and to return to open session. At approximately 7.45. So. Optimistically? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, and I need a roll call vote. Yes. 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 Yes.
So I'd like to call the uh, school committee meeting back into open session. Uh, so just give some background as to you know, what why, what brought us here today. So on Monday night, uh, the eight, the 18th, uh, we voted a, a, at that time we had a lengthy discussion on uh, contract and salary and we ended up just voting a salary which uh, in theory would be attached to the old contract. So because of what we did not vote a new contract on, on, on Monday night. So, you know, the, with the goal always had to vote a new contract by June 30th of this year, uh, we recon posted for this meeting to reconvene to uh, vote, a, try to work out a contract, and we did that uh, inclusive of a uh, salary figure. So that, in in theory, that that the, what we voted on today in executive session, which shortly we'll vote here in open session, uh, is supersedes the vote that we had on Monday night. Uh, because it is, we did vote on a contract with a salary versus just voting a salary on an old contract. So, is that, is that so any, let's have a motion first. Move to authorize the chair of the school committee to complete negotiations with the superintendent for the purpose of agreeing to the terms of the contract as presented. Is there a second? Second. Okay, so uh, before we, so actually, uh, any, is there any discussion we can take a vote on that? Do you want to talk? I will after, the, we, yeah, after, after we, we vote. vote. Yep. Okay. Um, so yeah, just negotiation. We didn't vote, right? That was that was what we voted on. Yep. Okay. So is uh, all all those in favor? Okay, it's uh, six zero. So uh, now the committee. So just to, I'll give the uh, kind of a. So we we haven't signed any contract with the superintendent yet. So I if the, until that's done, I'll give a a uh, you know 10,000 foot view of what what we intend to or what we we're going to try to sign so uh, we have a focused on the term of the contract and and the compensation piece on the on the term piece uh, uh, the new contract is uh, we was what the goal was to improve the rollover provision that we had under the old so the old contract was a two-year contract with with a rollover of two years so uh, what what the term of the new contract is is it's a three-year contract with a possible rollover at of one year uh, where the committee would have to vote after year two to invoke that rollover or not, uh, to which at which time the contract would be certain three-year contract. So if at, in so on in year uh, 2021, before June 30th, 2021, this committee would meet to say we want to roll over for 20, one 20, year. 2020. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, the contract would not extend beyond 2022, which would make it a 21. No, 2022, which would make it a three-year contract. For uh, I'm sorry, yes, 2021, which would make it a three-year contract. Uh, and then it would, in no way, would this this contract would never exceed 
June 30 of 2022. All of this will be available uh, after uh, I meet with the superintendent. Uh, it will be up on the, the contract will be up on our website uh, be on or before June 30th so that it's, it's available to the public. Uh, on the compensation uh, piece, uh, uh, this contract assumes the, uh, a zero increase uh, so that the compensation in this contract would be one, the 183, uh, which is, supersedes the 186 that we voted on Monday night. Uh, you know, that there is a, there will be a provision in there that after uh, we uh, enter into an agreement uh, with our collective bargaining, we can we don't have to we can revisit that uh, zero uh, increase but right now the contract that goes in place on uh, if, if sign goes in place on on july 1st would be at the same compensation as as now with a 183. Uh, the guy talk about it. yeah Anything else in there? Oh, and then uh, everything else is is pr pr the same. We did take uh, John's previous contract had a provision where his daughters could go to school in Reading. Since one graduated from college and the other one's in college, we don't. We took that section out, uh, and we tightened up the vacation uh, component uh, where there was a, a provision where if he was unable to uh, because of a directive by the chair not to take vacation uh, then uh, he would uh, he would uh, get compensated for that or if he was unable to take vacation for whatever work reason. Uh, and we also put a certain date on the liability with this. So our financial liability is uh, that he gets 25 days vacation, which was in the contract, plus the one week carryover, which is total of 30 days so that limits our financial liability that wasn't in there before and we could, it, could, it could compound to be end up being a lot so at no time will it ever be more than 30 days uh, financial liability for the for the district so uh, that's unless I'm sorry if it's uh, confusing I'm trying to recap a lot of this conversation uh, it will be available uh, and certainly willing to an try to answer any any questions anybody has at this point yeah yes no, I, I was just gonna say I appreciated the efforts of everyone involved to to get to an agreement in principle I think this is where we are uh, as soon as it's signed uh, by all parties will as Chuck said we'll make it public I just wanted to highlight three things that you mentioned, but yep. without going into the specifics, which which will become public on its side. Um, I think the three things I like about this um, ag agreement in principle, first of all, it, it has a date certain for when this contract ends, which we did not have before. So we we and the public, it's superintendent, everybody in Reading knows when this contract ends. It has a specific date. Uh, I, I really like that. Uh, the committee commits to voting on whether to add a fourth year to the term of the contract or not um, after two years. I like that. Uh, the compensation is, is flat. There's no increase, and the uh, vacation days are capped. Um, so I think those are all positive. The last point I'd make is that this is a negotiation. It's, you know, the, these are two parties at a bargaining table, and to come to an agreement as quickly as we did, um, you know, the, my, my thinking is that the choice as a committee member for me is either um, engage in negotiation to reach an agreement or stay with what we have now, right? It's not a comparison in my mind between this contract and everything, everybody's wish list on both sides. It's a contract, it's a, con it's a choice, as I see it, as, in my role as a committee member, between a set of terms that both sides can agree to 
um, and a choice or not agree to anything and stay with what we have now. So those are the, plan A is stay what we, with what we have now or plan B, vote for an agreement um, with both sides. And so I want to commend the chair and, and the vice chair for working very hard with the committee. Um, I think it was six, some six hours or so total session on this. So um, there's a lot of work in a hurry and I appreciate everyone's uh, willingness to uh, Compromise and, and find common ground, which was which was a, a really good effort. So, thank you to my fellow committee members and the superintendent for this. Yes, I could just make one quick comment. I think on behalf of um, many of the committee members, we're very excited about um, how we'll be able to step forward as a district and um, putting in place this contract with Superintendent Darty. I think gives us the uh, ability to do that, and um, it's been. You know, five previous years of cutting cutting the budget and living under a 15 years since the last override, or 13 years since the last override, and um, I think this is just a nice opportunity. We have some positions, some staff, some funding, and really looking forward to taking steps forward in the district under Dr. Darty's leadership, and we greatly appreciate um, just sort of the arduous nature of the last two years, particularly for Dr. Darty and his staff. So. Really excited about it, and I know we have some new staff starting um, on July 1st, so that's really exciting. All right. No. Does anybody have any questions? No. Oh, we didn't put them. <laughs> Thank you. I just wondered why, um, whether the committee had considered the possibility of a shorter term with specific goals to be met in order for extending that. Because three years is a long time. Well, I mean, it's, uh, we talked about a lot of things. Uh, you know, we've had a superintendent that's done a lot of good work over the years. There's been some things that, that have come up, which is why we we're having these conversations. Uh, it's not reasonable to, to, to really expect any superintendent that's been in the job for a while or anybody even to come into the district that will sign a less than three year contract. That's, it's just, unless you're hiring somebody out of, uh, that, that's never had any experience in that, you may in their first contract get them to agree to a, maybe a two year contract, but it's, it's, we've rely we've had many conversations with our legal counsel on that, and uh, I'm comfortable with, uh, we were on a contract that had a, uh, two year rollover, which was problematic that we need we which we wanted to get get uh, off of uh, we do have uh, a provision in this where we can take a vote and uh, make this uh, certain that it can end in three years so uh, I'm comfortable with that uh, and you know I think uh, other committee members have said uh, it, they, it just it wasn't the direction that I was or we were able to get enough votes to, to go less than this the term of this contract so uh, I'm just troubled by certain goals not being met and really no requirement that they be met mm -hmm. and three-year guarantee just seems I mean, how many of us in jobs get a three-year guarantee? We get a yearly performance review, and if there are areas that are in need of improvement, then an improvement plan is put in place. Yeah, and I, I and uh, the option, well, is there an option to end it early if certain things happen? More Office of Civil Rights violations, for example? Well, there's there's components if uh, for for cause. Uh, no, I don't know. I'd ha I'd have to defer to uh, legal counsel to have any you know whether or not an OCR 
violation constitute cause or not? Uh, I can't answer that at this moment. But yes. Just want to add most public sector jobs are contract have employment contracts we have in most private sector are not so it's this is may not be typical to most of us who work in the private sector I also really want to add this isn't a performance discussion this is this was about the contract and that performance and how we do that is a completely separate discussion um, so I don't, I don't think we should be talking about performance right now yes I just wanted to say that I am thrilled that we have this opportunity to empower our superintendent to go back to his vision. I think he's, I know it's not a performance. Um, I wrote plenty about my evaluation um, and I think that was clear from our evaluation, all aspects of it. But I am really excited to turn this corner and start looking forward and focus on the students and the education. And I think that three years is very appropriate to do that and I, in terms of the holding accountable we're still having the evaluation process every year so that is still going to happen it's not um, you know now you go do whatever you want we're still working together and I believe in the superintendent I'm thrilled that and and hope that um, the end result is that he stays with us and that three years is going to be really exciting for our district. Mr. Baum. Yeah, I'd say I agree with what the last two my last colleagues have said. It's yeah. This is not a performance discussion. I, I hear what you're saying, um, but from my perspective, it's a negotiation. We have a contract with the superintendent. It has no end date until this new one is signed. It has a provision, the rollover, which is publicly available in the current contract, that says, look, if we don't vote as a committee and give notice, it's there's a two-year rollover. Now, that, that clause about the two years is subject to, I think, different interpretations, and we wanted to clarify that here and make it, in my view, um, in, in my opinion, the, the new contract is much more clear and objective about when the contract ends. But it's a negotiation. You can't, we can't say, no school committee can say to its a, a superintendent, you must accept these terms or, or what. I mean, you, you have an employee, you have a contract, and the law has a lot of, of process on both sides about what, as public, you know, um, public sector and a public sector employee and a, and a public committee, uh, what, what we can do and what we can't do. So playing within oh. those rules, um, I think this is a, a win for, for all sides concerned because it provides clarity uh, for which I think is good for everybody. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm just surprised that the term is three years and not two years Understood. or even one year. Understood. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. Take a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Thank you. Thanks.